I sold my apartment. I'm leaving the country. It's just a decision for the future. Uh, our family future. And that's made me sad, of course, because uh, this is the first time that uh, in Venezuela we have immigrants. A lot of people go to Spain, a lot of people go to Italy. But it's, again, it's a, it's a personal matter. And just, I'm tired. It's easy to say, okay, I don't want to be here, I just get a plane and leave. But I think that the harder part is just to, you know, if you want to be involved in your country or you want to, you know, make a difference, just go and vote. Or just, you know, uh, support your, uh, your, your opposition candidate. I think it is some part of the human nature. You give, I give you an op a better opportunity and a lot of people, most of the people, will say no because it's afraid to change. So those are two approaches to the uh, political situation that's going on here. As you can see, you know, they're not passive. I mean, people are passionate about their politics and what's going on here in the country right now. Okay, so it's October 22nd, day 35 of this journey. We are still here in Caracas, Venezuela, and um, it's just, you know, it's, it's electric here. I mean, everywhere we go, people are talking politics, and, and uh, you know, we're not journalists, and that's not we're setting off on some political mission, but that is what's going on here, and that's what we're going to share with you. So let me bring you up to speed on what's happened over um, the past couple days. After spending a little bit of time with Evo, uh, another gentleman named Eduardo had called up and invited Jolt and I up to one of his friend's house, which is up in those mountains way up there, okay? As you can see, it's like above the clouds, and who would have thought? I mean, those, those mountains are two miles up there, two miles high. Talking very highly of it. Huh? Can't wait. Yeah. That's, that's the whole idea. We're rolling up there and we're in like these convoys. I mean, to get up there is no joke. I mean, you're full on land cruisers. Heading up the hills and like now you can just see all of Caracas. It's just amazing that such a quick drive, you can be so far out of a city life. That's Caracas, ladies and gentlemen. It's cold up there. It's a completely different environment up there. Wow, huh? So, we went up the mountain and uh, one of his buddies had this like ranch style house. You know, once again, I mean, the hospitality, the Venezuelan people have just, just welcomed Jolt and I in. I think that it's important that the world knows that Venezuela is not a, a small treasure in the middle of America where every people is rich because the oil is a high price, you know, because this is a big lie. Every conversation we're in, it's political. I mean, it's sparkling around here. It's, it's on everyone's mind, everyone talks about. Are you guys scared or not? Absolutely. I'm very worried about it, but, uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know what happened with us. Every Sunday in the president program, we are expecting some new that could change our lives. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt at breaking down what's happening here politically. Um, and I just want you all to know that I am not a political analyst, you know what I mean? I'm not a scholar or any of this, but I'm just going to say from what we are seeing here on the ground level of how this goes. So when you think of socialism, of what Chavez is trying to do to this country, this is not Cuba. This is different here, okay? Why is it different? Okay, first of all, if you look into the, the barrios, you know, look into the poorest people of this country, right? They get free electricity. They get free water. They get free telephone calls. They fill up their gas you know, their tank of gas for a dollar. Imagine having a blank checkbook that never ran out. This country has more oil coming in than they know what to possibly do with. So they have the money to say, you know what? You don't have to pay income tax. You know what? Here's gas, pretty much free. You want to, don't want to pay electricity? Don't pay electricity. So on the flip side, the danger of all the political power being in one individual's hands, you know, history has proven that that can backfire. And as, as charismatic as Chavez is, you know, he might have a vision. And what happens if you disagree? That's maybe when you see television stations, you know, being shut down and having people a little scared to speak up against the government. And in some cases, wanting to just leave the country. So when all this political talk is said and done, you know, I, I, I have to say that the people here in Venezuela have, have taken Jolt and I in. I think uh, Mr. Bush and Mr. Chavez to look this show yes. to see yes. the real friendship yes. because this is what is I true. Agree. This is the real thing, my friends. Yeah, I this agree. Is, I agree. This is I agree. United States and this is Venezuela. That's it. The hospitality has just been so warm and so friendly. And so regardless that our two governments not, might not like each other, I'm going to tell you, we have so much in common. Are you a Yankee fan? No, and then you can't be an Never Yankee. What happened Colorado? Colorado? A lot of Venezuelan players. And um, we're just having a great time here. We're definitely going to spend a couple more days here and, and enjoy Venezuela. 
and different aspects of this country because there's so much. This country has so much to offer. And um, then I think we're going to try to head towards Columbia. Now, here's the deal, guys, okay? Um, a lot of people in Peru are reaching out to us, okay? And um, we're definitely heading that way. But we want to hit through Colombia and Ecuador. But right now, we're kind of having a bit of a time finding a place to crash. So, guys, on the site, if you know someone in Colombia or Ecuador, you know someone who knows somebody, please reach out and let us know because we're definitely trying to make a decision the next day or two of where we're going. And we would love to show you guys Columbia. And so guys, like, you know, a lot's been happening, as you can tell. We're, we're trying to get you guys as much footage as we possibly can, but just understand there's a lot happening here. We're gonna catch you guys up to speed, and we'll definitely check in with you guys soon, okay? It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna go ahead inside. I'll see you guys soon, bye.